Okay, in this video, uh, I'm going to be sh showing you the cloud uh, acquisition and reviewing capabilities within Axiom. So you just load Axiom uh, as per normal. It is part of the main program. You fill in your case details and then let's go to evidence sources and you'll notice here that cloud is uh, its own evidence source here and that's one of the benefits uh, of being able to examine cloud along with mobile and computer all together. So I'm just going to go into cloud, acquire, I've got the proper authorization and uh, you can put in the relevant uh, warrant number if applicable. And you notice here that these are the cloud accounts that we uh, currently support and it's one thing to note that um, within, within each of these are like sub cloud uh, accounts as well so for example Google you can sign into that one but as part of that you'll get access to like Gmail Google Timeline Google Activity Google Drive so you only need to sign in once and it will pull down all them like different parts or, or like sub cloud uh, activities and similarly with, for example like Microsoft you'll get the Outlook and the uh, OneDrive and, and office and now office 365 and sharepoint so i'm just going to log into google and you'll notice here that it comes up with a signing method so we do support tokens and username and password so a token if you've obtained that elsewhere you can use that and obviously it's just a reminder that we do now start extracting tokens as part of a computer and mobile examination so if I just go to a uh, computer and phone examination you'll notice here that uh, a password and token has been found so I can then use that to then put in there but for this example I'm just going to use username and password so if I just sign in here, cloud, and then this is what I was talking about, how you've got like sub uh, parts within that uh, cloud account. And you'll notice here that there's a, a date range filter as well. So as part of the warrant, it might be that you can only look for items, you know, after a certain date or between some certain dates. So you, you can apply the date range here. You don't have to download everything. Um, you can be a bit specific on what you download. In addition to that, you'll notice that some of them, it's probably more the storage that they, they have like an edit uh, option here. So if I click on that, what it'll do is it'll scan the files and folders within the uh, Google Drive and again it gives you the option to be a bit, uh, a bit specific so it might be that you only want to uh, extract a specific folder or specific uh, files from there. So I'm just going to leave that as is and click next. So that's my Google Drive added uh, and I'm just going to quickly show you Microsoft uh, you'll notice here that this is greyed out, so you can only add one uh, type of account at a time. So you, I won't be able to add an, another Google uh, account at, at this point. But what I can do is an examine. I can add new evidence and add a Google one, uh, another Google one. But you can only do them one at a time. So if I go into Microsoft, again sign in. And similar to the Google one, you can put a date range filter. Uh, this one's slightly different in that you can't see the folders here, but uh, this is probably more specific uh, for environments that have a uh, like a corporate account. So if I logged in as the administrator, I'll just click edit here. Um, what you'll then see is a list of all the people that the administrator has access to, so you can pick and choose. Um, you know certain accounts to extract obviously in this example I've only got access to to my account on the live so that, that's why only mine is showing up um, I'll do a separate video for Office 365 uh, audit logs and SharePoint at, at a later date 
there, but just for this example, it, it was just these two. So again, I'm just going to click next, uh, and that's that added. And then you can go about your normal process. So you can do keywords, uh, hash sets, and what have you. If we have a look at cloud artifacts, again, you can uh, apply custom artifacts to the cloud, and you can also uh, have a look here at, at what's extracted. So you know Google recent devices and Microsoft. And then once that's done, uh, you'll be presented with a case similar as uh, follows. If I just find it, and this is an example of a, a cloud account. So you know this is one uh, I did another time, and I, I did an Apple one in this case. So is what you get, and. I'll just show you it in file system view because this is interesting because I did um, Apple as well. Now the, the cloud extraction comes as a zip file. It's, it's just one zip file with everything in it. So you, you know you can use that in another tool if you wish. But if I have a look here, and then you can see here that it, it's broken down into specific parts. So for example, iCloud backup, these are the um, device backups that have been pulled out as part of the iCloud uh, extraction. So if I just wanted to have a look at items from the this uh, device backup, if I just right click on that and go view related artifacts, I'm looking at, you know, potentially um, uh, the, the full backup of a, of a device. Let's clear that. You notice here that you know that there's a treasure trove of information here, so you can get all this timeline locations. Again, you notice here that they all have longitude and and, and latitude, so you can use them uh, elsewhere to plot out on maps. Recent devices, activity. So again, you'll get some good information here with. Um, GPS. There's a whole treasure trove of uh, evidence that you can pull down as the uh, uh, from the cloud. You know, Gmails, so you can get them. Similar to Google Drive and uh, OneDrive, you now get access to like Drive files. So that's just an example of uh, uh, files that I had stored in, in, in my. Uh, uh, iDrive account. I'll show another example here. Um, so, for example, uh, as part of the um, Hotmail or, or Microsoft, you do get access to emails, and, and this is just an example here. Uh, show you another one. So, what you can do then is be because they are um, from Microsoft, you know, you, you do have the option to export them out as PST if you wanted. But that's only unique to Hotmail and um, uh, like Outlook. So let's go back to the, the main case. File system. Let's just filter out somewhere else. So if I want to have a look at uh, timeline locations. So I can just see here uh, all all the activity in relation to that. Obviously, another way to do it is that you can just click on there as well. Uh, and that's about it for cloud. Uh, I do encourage you to use it um, and have a look around. It, also, in addition, in this example, I've not run connections, but you can run connections on the cloud as well. So if you have um, like a mobile computer and cloud account, run connections across them all. And uh, I, you know, I've seen it before where you can get the connection between when a file was on a computer and uploaded um, into the cloud account. So hope that helps and I'll uh, see you later.